Uh, let's see. Here's a story out of um, Las Vegas. Uh, actually, these guys were on their way from Las Vegas to Montana. Two guys were arrested trying to smuggle 20 pounds of marijuana from Vegas to Montana, but not because they got caught. They were getting high along the way, <laughs> and and apparently this marijuana was so good that um, they became a bit paranoid. Yeah, so I, I... Some people, when they smoke pot, I believe, become paranoid, and apparently these two did, and they, they worked off each other to the point where they became so paranoid. They called 911. Well, in this, I, you've got the audio? I do. Oh, i got to hear this. And the call has just been released. Uh, this actually happened at uh, the end of last year. Um, their names are Leland Ayea Doliante and Holland Sward. Sward got a suspended five-year sentence and 30 days in jail after a plea deal. Ayea uh, got up to eight years in prison after he tested positive for three different drugs on his day of sentencing. Uh, here they are, and here's what we have. Okay. This may be from court. Hi. Uh, oh, no. The... This is the 911 call. Here it is. <laughs> Two dumbasses that got caught uh, trying to uh, bring some stuff to your border, and all your cops are just driving around us like a bunch of jack wagons. So I just really would like you guys to end it. If you, guys, if you could help me out with that, we would like to get, get on with it. So this must be their second call to 911. You got caught doing what? Ah, uh, God. Okay. Um, we kind of got boots here, trying to bring some stuff across your Idaho border. Okay. And, uh, yeah, a bunch of your cops driving around a bunch of civilian cars just not want to pick us up. I don't know what's, what's the deal. I was just wondering if you could help us out and just end it. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe call one of them. I don't know. It's getting cold out here, man. I just want to get warm and just get on with this whole thing. So, come and arrest us, basically. Where, where are you at right now? University Boulevard, right next to the gas. So they basically finally just pulled over and uh, waited for police to come and arrest them uh, with all the drugs they were bringing across the, the so state line and the whole night. They were so. so paranoid that they thought there were undercover agents following Correct. them and all around them. Correct. They called 911 and said, okay, the gig is up. You got us. You got Just us. arrest us. Yes. We've got all this pot. They're keeping in mind, <laughs> uh, it was not, there was no one, search, there were no people searching for them. The authorities had no idea who they were. They were not searching for them. But these guys got so paranoid that they thought they were in the middle of a multi-state getaway vehicle, and they the police are following them, the authorities, or maybe helicopters, who knows. Finally, they pulled over, and they're waiting for the authorities to come and get them. They turn themselves in. So, Oh, my yeah. goodness. Now, yeah. listen, this is not the first time. What I was going to say earlier is I don't know if... I, I've heard like people like Willie Nelson and others say things like, you know, the pot that's out there today is not like it was in the 60s yeah. and 70s. It's yeah. much more potent. I don't know if there's something extra in this or if there if this is just the paranoid reaction. But Well, and he had three drugs at sentencing. The other guy had three drugs at sentencing, well, three different drugs it, in his system. In so. that case, though, it makes me think that he knew he was going away, so he's like, you know what, I'm going to live it up today because this is going to be my last day of freedom for a while. But uh, there have been other stories of people getting so paranoid that they call the police on themselves and they say, you have to help me. I'm high. Yes. <laughs> in, in one case, I re recall there was a police officer that did yes. just that. Yeah. Yes. That he, had, um, that he had gotten just so paranoid.